This morning, I published this really big video where I talked about coronavirus 19, and I went through each of the MS disease modifying therapies, except I forgot Ocrevus. I recorded it, but somehow it didn't make it into the video and I didn't catch it. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts on coronavirus 19 and Ocrevus, don't turn away, because that starts right now. The next class of medicine I would like to discuss are B cell killers or anti CD20 molecules. These include on label ocrelizumab or ocrevis, off label rituximab, and drugs that are being developed like ufatumumab. They're all B cell killers. And we do know that B cell killers have been associated with an increased risk of respiratory infections in the clinical trials. And as such, people with MS taking these therapies might be at slightly increased risk of dealing with a coronavirus as compared to if they weren't. Now, should you stop your Ocrevus? Absolutely not. I am not recommending that you stop this therapy because of what I just said. On the contrary, it's critical that you talk with your own provider and you have to consider all the other factors that I talked about. Your comorbid conditions, your age, geography where you live, and what your exposure risk factors are. I would not stop a medicine like this without talking to my provider. And if I did not live in an endemic area, I would probably not recommend stopping. Now, if you were taking Ocrevus and you live in Italy, I think that's a different scenario than if you're taking Ocrevus and you live in Columbus, Ohio. Let me go through nine tips, things that you can do to mitigate risk of infection. Number one, sanitize your hands or wash your hands with soap and water. But if you use soap and water, you literally need to wash for 20 seconds. That's very important. You wanna make sure that you're sanitizing or washing your hands before you eat, after you go to the bathroom, after you blow your nose, cough or sneeze. And if your hands are visibly dirty, there's dirt on them, then you definitely wanna use soap and water. Number two is to cover your mouth and nose when you cough or sneeze. Ideally, cough or sneeze into a tissue, throw the tissue in the trash can, and then sanitize your hands. Similarly, try to avoid touching your nose, mouth and face. If you touch a surface that has virus and then you touch your nose, mouth, or face, you can introduce virus into your body. By simply not touching your face, you can decrease the risk. Number four is to stay home if you're sick. Don't trudge through and go to work where you can infect other people. And number five, obviously I want you to avoid sick contacts to decrease your risk of becoming infected. Number six is to disinfect surfaces that are commonly touched. And this is a good idea in your house. This is a good idea in your work. I had a viewer comment that it would be a good idea to desanitize your cane, and that's an excellent point. Number seven is to stay fit and maintain a healthy lifestyle, because if you are fit, you're gonna handle a viral insult much, much better. Number eight is get your flu shot. People with MS benefit from getting a flu shot. Of course, you need to check with your provider to make sure that's safe for you. And as I talked about in my last video, wearing a mask, a regular mask that you buy at a pharmacy, does not decrease your risk, but washing your hands does. Thank you for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. If you haven't checked out my first coronavirus video, I'll throw a link up above so that you can check that out. YouTube Analytics thinks that you would love this video right here, so you might want to look at that one. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. Just click that circle with my face on it. Go ahead, click my face. Until my next video or my next live stream or the next time I see you in clinic, this is Aaron Boster saying take care.